people talk about the Civil War all the time. The, you know, this is like... Uh, Nah, fuck it. Segment time. You know, this is, like, people talk about this shit nonstop. It's a very, very common, like, fascist rhetorical tactic. I just talked about this with Tim Pool. We have to talk about this again, okay? Fucking, look, Rational Disconnect collected a bunch of these uh, logs together on, on his thing. Tim Pool talks about civil war non-fucking-stop. Every single video Tim Pool does, every single one of them, is something happened. Could this be the beginning of a civil war? National vote erasing electoral college, racial tensions, unrest, cultural divides, Spanish civil war, we're at the gates of civil war and nothing can stop. Stop! Civil war doesn't happen because people are angry at each other online. Civil war happens when fucking capital and political capital organize against one another, okay? And no, Mitch McConnell blocking the Senate is not a civil fucking war, okay? The extent- Do you have any idea how serious a civil war is? God, I cringe so fucking hard at these LARPers, dude. When I talk about revolution, I say this. The material conditions are not ready, we're a long time away, it's important for us to be prepared if something does happen, but right now we're still in the discontented throes of a failing neoliberal state and not a potential revolutionary state. You know, there's still a lot of room to move around in, there's still time, okay? There's still space. The, um, the characteristics of our democracy are still more or less in operation. Trump has done a lot to erode the democratic, you know, validity of this country, but we still do have an election process, we do have, you know, um, checks and balances, we have systems in place. Now, with that being said, conservatives never say this. To conservatives, every single fucking thing that happens is the beginning of the one. Every single time. Every single time. Tim Pool does this most of all, and I think this is probably the most fascist characteristic of Tim Pool's behavior, because it plays inherently to the fascists' necessary belief that every threat must be a civilization-ending threat. Have you ever wondered why it is that when you're browsing through Kotaku in action, or just looking through Twitter, and somebody says something like, oh, they took out... Ugh, they're going to have a black character in the next video game. So this is how Western civilization falls. How many times have you seen that tweet? I see it every day. 